Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video I'm going to show you how I designed this character in Illustrator. So this lovely illustration was delivered to me by a good friend of mine. I will link her Instagram page down in the description below. She made this illustration for me to design. So I'm going to show you guys what my workflow would be when designing this in Illustrator. So we're going to first off start with our layer here with our sketch layer. I'm going to lock this layer. I'm going to create a new one and in this we're going to create our artwork. And we're going to start with um, designing everything with black lines or with red lines actually so you can see it a bit better just starting with the outlines and starting with the basics and later on we're going to color it in and i have these colors up here uh, selected beforehand uh, skin tones uh, the background and some shirt colors and their hair color um, this can change afterwards of course but i just i uh, picked this out before so but first the basics let's start with this line here uh, with our pen tool click and holding shift to make it go straight click again and let's make the stroke a bit thicker and uh, make the corners rounded and uh, at the end when this illustration is finished i'm going to delete all of the lines i just want this illustration to be um, without any borders but for now it's uh, just easier to do it with uh, like this and one thing as well you don't have to perfectly draw over your lines because this is a sketch made with a pencil on paper uh, so it's it feels a bit more organic it's done by hand but this is going to be a digital illustration right now so you can just uh, adjust it where needed it doesn't have to be perfectly on this on these lines here so okay let's go with the shirt first the basics i'm just going to as you can see she, she kind of pops up from behind this line here so i'm going to draw it uh, below this line so i can mask it afterwards i will show you with it at the end so i'm just going to drag this over here this line and here you, she's behind the hand so it doesn't really matter how this uh, this part looks here and then I'm going to make this little curve go up here and also these lines I'm doing right now um, you, can, you can always change the curvature of these anchor points later on if you want so, at, so this point doesn't look quite good so I'm just going to leave it at that and uh, change that later on make this one here Okay, close that up and let's go back uh, with my white arrow here uh, the A on your keyboard and select this point and you can drag these handles out to kind of fine-tune the shape a little bit so that's great that's great uh, all right let's make the color here and one thing to know is before when you're designing something you, you need to know how you're going to uh, fill it in with color or how you're going to design it later on so in this case I know I want to cut this part out of this uh, main uh, shirt shape to make this a bit darker. So I'm going to overlap this here as well, like this. I'm going to select both of these shapes, go to my pathfinder and click on minus, no, sorry, on the divide button here. So that kind of cuts this shape out of the bigger one. So if I double click it, it's made a group of it. We have the separate little shape in here. So that's nice. Uh, let's add some lines in here then, like that. And maybe I want to delete these lines, these lines afterwards. But let's just put them in there for good measure. Okay, let's finish the shirt up. Let's finish these um, sleeves here. And as you can see here, I'll just close this up really quickly and ugly because you don't see that stuff. So that doesn't matter. Which everything that doesn't is not visible doesn't have to be pretty. So like that. Okay. So that's the basic uh, shirt already. Let's go with these hearts here. And I actually want them to have a little bit of a hand-drawn look. So I'm going to use a brush tool, which is your letter B on your keyboard. So we have this brush tool. Um, let's change the thickness a little bit like that. And I'm going to just quickly, roughly draw over these shapes so it kind of gets that hand-drawn look. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to select this uh, because these are now two shapes or three, uh, select these, press Command-G to group them. And if I go inside this group, now it's isolated. So I can only select these shapes and go in here and select, create all these hard shapes here. So we finished up with all of these hearts. Um, now, when I click out of this group, this is one big shape. So that's uh, really easy for me. So I can uh, change the color later on and I don't have to select every shape individually. Let's delete this stuff here. Uh, so we can, let's let's make this pink already. So if I um, select my uh, 
eyedropper tool here with the letter I on your keyboard holding shift and clicking on this color here. Uh, it takes over the color of that because if I don't do that, if I just use the eye, it uh, adds a, a pink fill to it because it takes over this uh, appearance of this little box here. But I want them only to be the color on the stroke. So holding shift while doing this will only um, copy the color to the stroke right now. So that's fine. I'm done with this. I'm going to lock this by pressing command two on my keyboard so I can touch them. Okay, so let's do the face first. That's the cool, the, the fun part. So the neck here, and like this, give this the same stroke. Okay, and then the face, the chin, going behind the hair here, it doesn't need to be pretty here as well. Drag that over there, so that's the face done. So let's create these ears now and everything is done with the basic pen tool movements. So constantly doing the same thing over here, um, just creating different shapes, but it's all with the pen tool. Uh, let's create some eyebrows. And also when I color all of these things in later, you can even adjust it after that. So it's never, it's never finished. Um, yeah, let's make these shapes in the air though. Okay. And let's go for the nose. Cute little nose. Mouth with a tongue sticking out of it. And if I want this, let's, uh, I want this tongue here to kind of uh, align with the end of this mouth line here. But if I do that, uh, if I click on this uh, it, uh, shape here, it cl closes this line up and it, it creates uh, one single line. I don't want that. So I'm going to uh, click over here and make this shape. And then I'm going to place this point on here. So it's not connected to the mouth line. So like that. Let's create the eyes. I'm just going to use my ellipse tool here and create these little shapes. I'm just going to uh, make it a fill, not a stroke. Copy that while holding, while holding Option and clicking and dragging over here. I'll make a copy of it. And I'll do the same thing with these cheeks, with these blushes. All right. Cool. Yep. And then cre let's create these uh, earrings. And you can see now I have my fill selected with the red and no stroke. And if I select any shape that has the stroke, you can see that this changes up here. So if I quickly want to uh, change what I'm doing, so I'm going to create some shapes here with the fill, and I quickly want to create a line and select this one with my pen tool, and then I'm back with lines. So that's a really quick and easy way to uh, swap uh, different, um, you know, different ways of uh, creating something. So let's go with these earrings here. I'm going to, oh, and here you can see I did not do that correctly, but I just said, so. <laughs> Like this. I'm going to alter these shapes a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to copy this and drag it over here and turn it around. So it's not the exact same as the earrings in the illustration, but I think this works better in this instance. Okay, let's make the hair now. Uh, I'm just going to select everything though and make all the lines a bit. Uh, thinner because all of these lines are seven points now I'm going to make them four okay let's make the hair uh, start over here nice and wavy like this and then again go quickly over here because it's behind the shirt so you won't see it Close that up like that. Let me alter it a little bit. Now this point is not so smooth, so I'm going to like smooth it out a bit. This as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's make this line here. Nice. All right, no, that's not good. Cool, all right, cool. Uh, oh, this one as well then. Okay, let's create these buns. 
want this to also be four, please. Why are these now thicker? Please don't do that. Okay, four, nice. And these can be just this kind of balls here as well. I'm not going to create perfect circles out of this because I want it to feel, feel a bit organic. Let's create some stray hairs here. Like that. Maybe here as well. Small ones. Okay. And you can see that these lines here uh, are like a bit thicker, uh, like there's an elastic band or them or something. I'm going to add that later when I'm doing the design and the colors. And uh, let's add this hair part, and I uh, think I need to make a separate shape of this that uh, yeah, I'll explain to you later. Just copy this here, and then close this up. Very ugly as well. So it might look like a mess right now, but I'm going to fix it later. Trust me, I'm a professional. Okay. Uh, the next shadow. Very important. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make this line here and then select this uh, neck shape here. I'm going to copy this neck here, press Command C, then select both of these lines and then go to my, uh, my uh, divide again in my pathfinder. So it um, cuts these two shapes uh, separate. And I'm going to delete this bottom part. So I, on I only have this shadow layer. And so I'm going to click on this, press Command F to paste my neck back in place. And then I'm going to press Command in bracket, in bracket on my uh, keyboard to place it behind the shadow neck layer. So this one is now in front of this one. And how I, why I did this is that I want to um, keep my full neck shape and then have the shadow be on top of that and don't be two separate shapes. So it's easier for me later on when I want to change something up. So I think that's the face is done. Yep. Let's go with the arms right now. These ones first. All right, and these fingers. And sometimes I just quickly draw something and then actually just alter everything later on because it's you know a bit easier to see sometimes. But I'm doing a pretty okay job at this point. Looking mighty fine. Okay, this finger. You know, these lines in here, you can see, I, uh, I think I will, if it's needed, I'll add them later on to, uh, you know, give it a bit more definition. But for now, this is working properly. Okay. Mm, no, let's leave it at that. And this finger here is a bit, I'm going to add an anchor point here to click, but just clicking with the pencil on the line, kind of dragging that in a little bit. Yeah. And this is too pointy. So if I d select this point with my white arrow again, I can kind of make this a bit more curved. Okay, so that's that. Then let's do this arm here, part here. Boom, done. Easy as that. I know creating stuff with the pen tool isn't, isn't really that hard. It just takes some practice and to get a feel of where you should place your anchor points. Uh, I've been doing this for years, so I kind of know how curves work uh, when using the uh, the pen tool uh, but that you need just need to get a feel for that to quickly create nice shapes here okay uh, so yeah here we see that we we really need this line here um, but I want the shape to um, to close itself up as well. So I'm going to stop right here and then uh, add this line later on. Um, so here I'm just going to close this up because this definition needs to be here because it's uh, two separate fingers. So if, if not, it's just uh, there's a little stumpy uh, finger here. So just I'll just add that later on. Um, let's create these lines here as well quickly. Okay. Then let's create the controller with the pen tool again. 
Um, let's go for this shape here. Yep. And then I'm going to add the circles here, just with my ellipse tool again. So uh, th these can be perfect circles because it's like it's a it's not an organic shape. It's a uh, plastic, so it can be perfect. And then here as well, these joysticks kind of over there, and then these handlebars, whatever you call them. Like that, and I'm just going to copy this because this needs to be the same. Uh, copy it, uh, right click, transform, and then reflect. And then uh, I need to be vertical, so now it's just a perfect copy of the uh, other one. I'm just, I'm I am going to rotate it a little bit though. Yeah, like that. Mm, maybe place it in a bit more. We'll see. We'll see how this looks when uh, when we're done with uh, coloring everything and everything looks a bit better. Uh, let's just create these shapes here. I'm going to create this shape and then kind of round it out, I think. Yeah, like that. Give this the same lines as the main shape, so it's nice and steady. Okay, and then just this little thingy over here. Yeah, I'll just... Um, make that perfect later. So let's see, I've created everything right now, all the shapes are drawn. So let's just um, unlock everything by holding command option and number two on your keyboard to unlock all. Um, and in, now I'm just going to uh, fill this up with color. So let's start with the easy ones uh, first. So this um, shirt needs to be blue. So I'm going to go to my um, eyedropper tool here and click on the blue and it will delete the red outline shape and it'll just make this blue shirt and uh, we have this hearts here. I'm going to select this shirt, press command C. I'm going to click on the hearts and then press command F so it pastes the shirt on top of those hearts. And then I'm going to also select these hearts here and then right click and go to uh, ungroup first to ungroup the hearts and then go to make a clipping mask. So now these are like, cut off with the shirt. So now they are uh, perfectly on there. I'm going to select both of them again and then make a group out of it. So press Command G. So now this is one one shape, the hearts with the with the shirt. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, press Command Shift in bracket again to place it uh, at the bottom of my layers here. Uh, so you can see now it's at the bottom this group. So it's uh, so all the lines are above it, so I can still see what's going on. Uh, these ones, we're going to make them, let's turn them uh, just in a very dark blue. So make them blue, and then just make them very dark. And then place them um, below. So that's Command, Shift, in bracket. All right, then, oh, I think I forgot this arm shape. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's draw that quickly here. Boop, boop, boop. Nobody saw that. All right, and let's quickly, let's just color these arms here like this. And these ones the same, but a little bit darker because they are behind, so a bit shadowy, just not too much. I think that should be okay. And then uh, again, by holding Option and pressing in and end bracket, you can um, move them back in the layer, in the layer panel. Uh, so I'm going to actually select this one, pressing Command X to cut it, selecting this, this shape and then press Command F. So it's uh, when you select this shape and then press Command F, it pastes it on top of that shape. So that's what I want. And do the same thing here, Command X, select this shape, press Command F, so now it's on top of that. And these lines here can be the dark blue, or the, the same kind of blue, but then just a little bit darker, not too much. Like that, I think. Yep, that's great. All right, then let's go to the face, which can be the same color as this, of course. Um, let's make these eyebrows, uh, let's make these eyebrows, mm, the, maybe the hair color. I want this to be the hair color here. I don't know if that looks good. No, that doesn't look good. I'm going to make these kind of dark, kind of brown. Yeah. Let's see if that works. Uh, these ears can be the same color, kind of. No, I'm going to make this one maybe a bit darker to like it's, it's behind her head. And this one is kind of in front, so we get a nice little sense of depth there. Let's make these white, these earrings. All right, let's make the neck this color as well. And put it behind everything, and then make the shadow color of the neck this dark color here. I'm going to select this, press Command X, 
click on the neck, press command F. Nice, like that. Oh, this shape here can be the darker blue as well. And that's too dark. Just this one then. Yep. And then these shapes here, I'm going to select all of them and uh, group them together. So now this is one shape. And then maybe give this this color here. Yeah, that looks good. And then select this um, a color shape here, press command C. Click on these lines, press command F. Select both of those. I need to select these lines in. Um, I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. Press command F again, and then I can select it. Uh, and then make a clipping mask. So uh, that kind of looks cool, I think. Yeah. Then this hair shape. I'm going to make this kind of an orangey shape. And pressing command shift uh, in bracket again to place it at the back of all the layers. I don't like this, that it's darker. It's too dark. So let's make it just a tad darker. Like that. It's kind of the same. Just a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, okay. We'll look at that later. Let's make these ones the shade, the color of the shading here. Yeah, nice. And these can be just a little bit darker than this one as well. The blush on the cheeks. Let's make these uh, just like a dark grayish color. And the nose as well. This, I think this shape and this shape as well. I don't know, maybe it's not defined enough. Let's make this color for this tongue red and put the shape of the mouth in front of that. Like that, so I think that's too, too red to so make it a bit less heavy. Cool, maybe make this a bit darker then as well. Just, I'm just trying stuff out as well here. What looks best. Maybe these lines need to be darker later on, like really also the same as this one. These can be a bit less, a bit more grayish. Yeah. Okay, let's create these two can be the same color here. And these ones as well. This color. Nice. And then this shape also needs to be this color. Um, yeah, great. And as you can see here, we have this little line popping in front of the ear. So let's just hide that like that. And this can be the same as this again. Nice. Then make let's make these ones also that uh, oh we need uh, yeah, the darker orange color then. Maybe these lines as well then give that the same look. Cool. All right. Nice. Then let's go for the controller. Let's make that just um or a light gray, like an old PlayStation 1 controller kind of vibe. And these ones as well, a little, a little bit darker than, than this one, because it's a bit further behind. And this is the same as, as this, and then the same as well here, but just give a bit more definition, make this a tad lighter maybe. Place them on top. And these buttons can be darker again. So like this. Yep, and place it, maybe place them below that shape. And no, not below. I'm going to make this rounded out as well. Yeah, something like this. Okay, I'm just going to select this whole controller here and group it together, pressing Command G, pressing Command X here, and then selecting the T-shirt, and then press Command F again, so it's behind the hands. So, all right, let's make this line the. No, I'm going to add the background here first. Just a really big square, and then make that purple. So that's nice. Let's select this line and let's make that mm, darker purple. Uh, yeah. Oh, so let's select this line, of course. Like the same purple, holding shift, clicking on the color here, and then make that just a tad darker. Maybe we can make the thickness of this line a bit more. No, not too much. Yeah, like that. All right, then I'm going to add some, we're almost done. I'm going to add some of these. Uh, these are going to be a little bit darker, I think, to make it a bit more defined. Yeah, and then make these ones uh, behind. So I'm going to select Command X, Command F, and then end bracket one, ti one time. Select Command X, select this one, Command F, Command in bracket. So they're behind it. 
cool. And then here I'm going to maybe let's just create some lines here. And let's make them kind of a brownish color, like these little rubber bands in her hair. A bit thicker. Like that. And let's create a couple of these lines here. Just not too neat, just a little bit scroungy. Yeah, I like that. Okay, maybe one that goes over there. Select all of these shapes here. Press Command G. Select this one and then press Command C. Select these shapes and then press Command F to place it on top. Select them both and then make clipping mask so it's only visible over there. Press Command X. And on this one again, press Command F so it's over there. So we get this nice kind of rubber band thingies over there. I'm going to do the same thing over here for this bun. Okay, three is good. Select them, press Command G, and make clipping mask, Command X, select this one, Command F, boom. When you're done, you're done. Mm, okay, I think the face is a bit too light. I think there needs to be a bit more definition. This air needs to be on top of it, though, by the way. That's the first thing. Yeah, like that. Maybe drag it in a little bit. Okay, and then I need some shadow, I think, below the hair. Just make this ugly shape and then give it this color here. Press Command X, select the shape of the head, Command F. Yeah, nice, that's better already. Oh, see that these shapes need to be on top of the hair. Command X, select this one, Command F. And then maybe this can be a bit more refined. All right, that's fine. I think we're kind of done, guys. Um, I think we can just go into this controller here and kind of make this a little bit more um, better looking. <laughs> this one needs to be this color. Let's, let's make this straight with the uh, align with the bottom line here. Like that. Maybe give this a little bit of a curve at the end, like that, on the corners. Oh yeah, and we need this little stumpy, um, stumpy McStump face here to uh, get a bit more definition going. So add, l add a line and just create this line, I think. Yeah. I think that should do the trick. Make it overlap a little bit. I think this finger is pretty thick though. Mm, maybe like this. Yeah, and then select this hand shape. Uh, this arm, press command C, select this line and press command F, select both of them and then clipping mask again so it's kind of it doesn't um, go out of this hand shape. And I really don't like this little thingy here, so I'm going to boop, move it over, just it's a bit neater for me. Okay, nice. And then um, I think I can, I could even. Um, work on this tutorial uh, for an hour longer to r refine everything and make everything look perfect uh, and make everything even better but this does the trick uh, kind of um, going to select everything here except for this bottom line pressing command g so now this is just one big shape then i'm going to put this one in on top command shift and bracket and I'm going to go to my shape layer, shape tool, create this big mask over here, just um, cutting over this line here. Give that a fill and select my uh, character shape, right click and, oh, I see that I did not do this correctly. Yeah, select it, right click, make clipping mask and then put the uh, line um, like that on top. Let's, let's put this line in the middle of the screen, align objects like that. So there you go. That's it. That's how you create this illustration. Uh, only using the pen tool actually and maybe sometimes the, the, the shape tool. Uh, one thing I would add if I'm looking at it right now is add some, uh, some shadows behind these fingers here uh, to make it a bit more 
Um, you know, just adding shadows in general here would be a good idea. So maybe here as well, uh, like this, and then give that a dark uh, this color, and then pressing Command X, Command oh, just go into the shape here, uh, into this group, Command F here. Maybe I can just even tra trace this. Yeah, kind of like that. Those little little um, shadows to make, make it just give it a bit more depth and make it a book look a bit more interesting. Uh, stuff like that you can you can add uh, wherever. I'm going to change this up, make it like a little bit more interesting, not too straight, like that. Yeah, that looks better. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. Oh yeah, what I said, the shadows on the fingers here. So let's make this um, this gray, maybe now a bit darker. Just like this maybe. Command X, go into this group here. And I'm doing it quickly now, but you can of course just m mask this in the controller shape if you want. But I'm going to do it quickly now. Um, on this one, and then over there, close it up, make it that the same gray color. Oh wow! Uh, oops, <laughs> I press Command X, and if I just select this tool, with this one with my white arrow, I can paste it in the, in that in there uh, instantly. So if I select just a random shape with my white, because everything is now like grouped together, of course, because I masked it. But if I select my white arrow and select this, click on this shape, and then then press Command F, it places it places it on the same level as that one. So just like this. So that looks good. This is a really weird and deformed finger. I'm going to change that a little bit here. Okay, and then make some shadow here. Quick and dirty. Command X, select this one with the A tool and then Command F to paste it in there. Yeah, so okay. I'm going to stop right there because I can, well, as I said, I can do this for hours. Uh, this looks cool like this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. And I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe. Thanks. Bye-bye.